So now we're going to go to Matthew chapter 23. Mm -hmm. And what I got out of this is purifying yourself through rabbinics. Mm -hmm. Purifying yourself through rabbinics. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't think most people realize rabbinics was never always around. Mm -hmm. You know, it got started around 250 B.C. after the Babylonian captivity when they came back. And uh, that's a whole story there. You can go read in history that's called the rabbinic period. Mm -hmm. And they showed how they see the Jews seize power over the temple, mm -hmm. which is forbidden in Torah because mm -hmm. Yahweh tells the priest, don't let none of the other tribes in no way, shape or form come into the temple and take up any responsibilities in here. This is commissioned strictly for you. That's an abomination. And what did the Jews do? They came in, they took over the temple. Mm -hmm. Not going to get into the big history about all that stuff. But I remember when I was in a Messianic place some years back, you know who, what I'm talking about, the head rabbi came to me and made a proposition. Mm -hmm. And he says, I think you'd be a good candidate to stutter, study under me rabbinics, to be my assistant. Mm -hmm. I said, no, sir, I'm not interested in that. You know, I knew way back then. This is like 20-something 20, 20 years ago now. And uh, he goes, oh, you would learn so much more. I said, I know enough. I know I didn't tell him what all that I knew, but I knew that rabbinics was not what Moses taught. Mm -mm. Moses was not a Jew. Mm -mm. So don't allow these rabbis, messianic rabbis, even more so because they're an infusion talking about different covenants. They're an infusion of rabbinics or Talmudic Judaism and tradition of the elders and the Sanhedrin with Christianity. You've got the worst of two covenants coming together to make a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I could go on all day about ranting on that, but let's get to the scriptures here. Mm -hmm. And let's see how this plays out when we go along, and let's see the spiritual meaning. Woe, great grief to you, scribes and Pharisees, a religious separatist secretary, hypocrites, mm -hmm. who are a stage-playing characters. You cleanse by purifying the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion by mm -hmm. pillaging with force and self-indulgence due to a lack of power for self-control. Blind Pharisee, as the order of importance and cleanse, mm -hmm. by purifying the inside of the cup and dish, that, you, that the outside of them may be clean with purity also. Mm -hmm. Woe, great grief to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, who are straight stage playing characters, for you are like whitewashed tombs as a state of being confined as a prisoner, which indeed appear beautiful and flourishing outward, outwardly, but inside are full of swelling outwardly of dead, of a corpse of men's bones, and all uncleanliness of impurity lacking morality of a demonic source. Mm -hmm. Wow, if that ain't to the point, I don't know what is. Verse 28, Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous as holy and innocent men, but inside you are full and well supplied of hypocrisy, acting the part of a deceitful character and lawlessness who is not subject to Torah. Oh, that's blatant right there. Mm -hmm. And say, if we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in blood of the prophets. Therefore, you are witnesses that bear the record against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your father's guilt concerning yourselves. Any thoughts on that? Yes. Um, just bringing it home, um, what we talked about earlier. Who, who are you worshiping? You with me? Mm -hmm. uh, um, he's telling them, I'm seeing everything that you do. You, you, you put all these burdens on people to don't touch this, to wash your hands like this. And you yourself really don't do that stuff because on the inside, you all corrupted. You're just making proselytes of people and not teaching them the way. You're not really showing them the way. And not only that, you know what they're not doing? They're not showing empathy for the burden that is on the person that you're putting these things on. No, not, that, means, that means the spirit of empathy and sympathy and all that kind of stuff is gone. 
You're just a cold-hearted person that wants to regulate that person and put burdens on them because it gives you power and authority. Just, just think about some of the things that they teach. I mean, just to be outwardly. I, I want to be loved by everybody. Everybody ain't going to love you. <laughs> Everybody is not going to no, no. like you. Right. You, I, I heard now these Jewish teachers. I heard um, a few months ago during the Passover season. They said Passover and Easter are tied together. They on television teaching this. Are, are you with me? I'm with huh? you. How are they tied together? I mean, just think about it now. Yahweh is looking down. Say so he got eyes that run back and forth through the earth. And then he pick a prophet out and show him something. He told Ezekiel, he said, go, I want to take you to the temple and see what they doing. Huh? And he said, okay, I showed you that. Now let's go again. And I want to see you greater abomination that they do in the temple. And they were worshiping that son. And every year they go out there with them to worship the son. Um, John, come on. They, they ain't doing nothing new today. All you got to do is search the scriptures mm -hmm. and you'll find out today they're doing the same thing. If we wouldn't have did the same thing our father's doing, you're doing worse than what your fathers did. Same garbage, different day. Same stuff, but you're doing more. You mm -hmm. adding more than what they did back then. So how we can say condemn them back then for not being sick? No, we're how guilty. can we? Yeah condemn those that were in the wilderness for unbelief when we're walking into today i was there i was there doing all of this stuff because that's what they was teaching and i'm thinking they jews they gotta know no that's but a big the misnomer. true jew mm -mm. yashua was teaching and i wouldn't even receive his spirit of teaching because there's no way he would talk to me that you, was my you gotta perception. go through the man but one day I read when Peter went over to a Gentile named Cornelius and he said, I perceive that Yahweh is no respect to a person. I used to think he just respect one kind of person. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he talks to me. I'm, I'm, I mean, he's blessing you and pulling me over here. I just didn't get here. I didn't know you was in this world. Mm -hmm. How did we meet? <laughs> Different roads, same journey. Same journey, right. All of us, we got different roads. And when I say that, different experiences. Some, some might have more. I had a bunch of them. I had a bunch of snares. You know, some might have less. But whatever the snares was, he's pulling us out of the stairs, mm -hmm. loosening us from those cords and bringing us to him. We ain't bringing us to each other. But if we're in him and following him, we're going to fellowship. Well, you got to want it, though. Yes. You got to want it. If you don't have any interest in it, you know, it's like the old saying goes, like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Yes. If you don't want to drink of the living waters that's coming through these teachings, you're not, you're not going to have your thirst quenched. Yes. yes. Keep drinking the soda pop. Yes. And for you Jews out there, Messianic Jews, rabbis, all these guys, it's not about condemning you. Exactly. It's about waking up. You're doing the same thing to people that you did back in the times when these scriptures were written. Tell There's the no difference. Yeah, just Wake up, look truth. at what you're doing, mm -hmm. and let your people truly get set free. Yeah. You're on borrowed time. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. I'm a prophet of Yahweh. And I'm telling you, there's a reason why he's resurrected this ministry in this way that he has. Mm -hmm. Time is short. Mm -hmm. You don't have the time to keep playing these games that you're playing. Yes. And when it comes time to pay the piper, you ain't going to have what it takes to pay the piper. Mm -hmm. It's going to be too late for you. And I think mm -hmm. Yahshua told the Jews, and it was in Luke, I did a teaching on that. I think it was the accursed teaching. The end, uh, to live or to be accursed, if I'm not mistaken. And he prophesied to them Jews that he was talking to his day. Mm -hmm. He said, you are not Abraham's seed. Mm -hmm. Going back to the seed thing again. Mm hmm you're not Abraham's seed. Mm -hmm. You're his children, mm -hmm. descendants, mm -hmm. but you're not his seed. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you today, mm -hmm. when he was telling them this, mm -hmm. when the last great day of the feast comes mm -hmm. at the end of the millennium, and that hundred years is finished, 
this same bullcrap attitude you're putting on me now mm -hmm. and calling me the devil and all this stuff, you're going to coast your way through that 100 years after the resurrection, and you're going to come to the end of the 100 years, and we're going to see you never intended to change. And he's telling them in those texts, mm -hmm. you are going to die the second death. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. going into the lake of fire for the second death, and you Jews will be destroyed who act that way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's from my mouth to your ears, which I got from Yahshua. I deciphered that thing in Luke. Mm -hmm. You want to know more about that? That's a heavy set of scriptures in there, in that teaching, to live or to be a curse. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you Jews, you have the covenant. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with it? Teaching rabbinics? Talmud? Some of you want the, the Gentiles to keep that, or you want them to keep doing their Christian stuff, but you don't want them to come into Israel. You know, and there's a whole gamut of different levels of that there. Mm -hmm. Some are not as bad as others, but it don't matter how bad you are or how less bad you are. If you're proposing those doctrines in your congregations, you are bringing your people into bondage. And I'm speaking to the people because they're the gatekeepers that watch over them. So I'm going to circumvent the gatekeeper for those of you that are sitting in these places and you're listening to this hogwash. Mm -hmm. You better wake up. You don't have a lot of time to keep playing this game. The curtain is starting to close. And you better get your acts together. And that's been fulfilled in your hearing right now. Yes. Like it or not, it's been fulfilled in your hearing. So... Uh, back to this again. Because you build the tombs of the prophets, mm -hmm. who are foretellers under divine inspiration and adorned to put in order decorations the monuments of the righteous who declare who uh, declare holy and innocent. Uh, I think we did all that. Didn't oh, we? we did that. Yes, you had finished. Um, no, I didn't get through that. Yeah, I did. Oh, I must have went backwards. I'm sorry. And, and so, did you want to say something on that? One thing on this. You know, when they say they like whitewashed tombs and it's not comical, but it's just something that just came to me. You know, I've been to a different, uh, various viewings, mm -hmm. you know, and they embalm the body. They dress them up and they groom them up and they buy the nice casted and all the flowers around them. And people come in and they say, how beautiful that person look. <laughs> well, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> but they can't see death no. enough to fear to say, I got to come through this way. Is there anything that I need to be right to be prepared to go through this process? You know, all they can see is how beautiful it is. But we're mourning the separation. But we're not taking an example. We got an appointment for this. All we can see is the beauty in death. How is that beautiful? People go through all kinds of psychological stuff in those situations wake up to make and, themselves feel better. Yeah, wake up and get ready. Yeah, exactly. Wake up and get ready. 